Hi friends, it's uh, time for another HVAC related video. Still working on adding that circuit to the attic. And man, it is hot in Texas. It is hotter than a French fry and a pack of seagulls. Yeah, anyway, so I went to Home Depot and bought a whole bunch of pipe and fittings and as usual, they don't have everything I need, but they've got this pipe and that's what we're gonna get started with. So we're gonna see if we can put this in without cutting it. Not sure if that's gonna work. Stay tuned, let's find out. And before we go up in the attic where it's not as hot as it is in the garage, remember, if you're enjoying the video, like my channel, subscribe. Be sure to click that little bell icon so you get notifications when I release new videos. And more importantly, check out my playlist because that's how I organize my videos. I kind of bounce around my projects, a little ADHD, squirrel, yeah. That kind of thing but anyway check out the playlist they're useful remember like subscribe hit the bell or alert icon so you get the alerts let's go in the attic because it's a lot nicer in there so yeah it's a pain in the butt to crawl in here um but we're gonna crawl in here anyway and it's probably only about 78 in here because I am circulating the air from downstairs up into the attic and this is a spray foam insulated house so it's like living in an igloo cooler. Um, right now I've got a one ton window rattler and a one ton mini split that are keeping this house cool and I only run the window rattler when I want to work in the attic and I need to boost the air conditioning. So I think over here looks good. A good spot for that so we're just gonna see if we can feed this in I don't I think I might have to cut these in half so let me work over there you guys are gonna get to see my fat butt as I slide past here I might as well take some cargo with me <coughs> which would be the glue and the gloves for using the glue Now, if you're noticing that I'm stepping on boards, these are the lily pads I put in yesterday. And you can get a good look at them on my other video that, that is about these. Oh, I might actually get away with it. Well, I'll be darned. I didn't think I was gonna be able to put these in And I still think it's going to be a pain in the ass, but we're going to try it. <laughs> so I'm hung up on something over here and I got to go figure out what it is. And for that, I'm going to have to balance on the boards. And the idea is not to fall through the ceiling that I put in seven years ago. And I see instantly what the problem is. So, there's no point in crawling back the other way when I actually need to go over there and see what I'm hung up on. So, over in this corner, there's something that's hung up, and I don't know what it is, and I'm picking up foam dust. So, I'm going to go over here and work my way over. That would be my plumbing. That's what I'm hung up on. So, it's real tight over here because
the air conditioning comes over here and the I mean just everything comes through this this front attic and the front attic's only gosh two feet tall if that so it's just really comp it's really um crowded and if it wasn't crowded I wouldn't bother to run the ductwork So let me go get another piece of con our conduit, not ductwork. Back my fat butt out of here. Ooh, almost lost my balance. It happens. So let me go get another piece of ductwork. Or sorry, conduit. Maybe I'll quit calling it ductwork by the end of the video. But let me go get another piece of conduit. Leave all the foam dust in here. We're right back. All right, so. I've decided to bring two up with me. Uh, it's 50 feet across, uh, maybe a little more. So, you know, it just is what it is. Now this may be a little bit tricky putting the second piece in. Those little pieces don't actually provide any insulation value. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tricky putting these in. But we'll get it done. So I apologize. You probably can't see very well what I'm actually doing. So I'm wearing gloves because I expect this to be messy. And then I'm leaning over. This does not have to be watertight. So the goal here is just to simply secure it. There we go. Now we're stuck on something, so we got to go figure out what's going on. So I created some access back behind one of the bathroom sinks upstairs. So let me go check that and I'll be back. So what I had sort of hoped would be the issue wasn't. I'm not that far along. I'd rather not cut any holes in the sheetrock, but I will if I have to. So next what I gotta do is figure out what I'm stuck on, and that requires call, crawling back in this little hole again. I might not be as far away as I thought. <clears throat> it's just a pain in the butt getting in and out of here. <clears throat> All right, let me go check it. I'll be back. So this is the access I created and it's just not getting me close enough. I'm even using my iPhone to look down in the hole and that just isn't doing it. So 
we're gonna open up the next cabinet because I have two vanities in here. So I'm gonna use my DeWalt multi-tool to open this up and you guys will get to see how that works. So I've already gone ahead and removed the um, plumbing. And so we're just gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm pretty sure there is um, framing in this area. So we're gonna find out. bit dusty there we go so this now gives us the ability to look in here and see what might be going on I see a candidate Nope, that one's pretty stuck. Ooh, okay. I really don't want to open the wall up. I just don't want to open it up further that way. There's not a lot of space between here and there's an electrical wire in here somewhere that runs up that wall. So, let me stop and figure out where I'm at. This is where I could really use a second person, but I don't have anybody help me today. So, um, and I think it's in this area, but I've also got a blob of spray foam right here. Um, I think I'm hitting up against a wall. And I just don't see a way around it. So let me go see if I can jack with it from the other side. I'll wear it back. Actually, I'm gonna leave the camera running so you guys can hear me cuss about it. So I paste it off by hand and I'm really not that far. But one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna light up this area so that I can see it from the other side. That gives me a better idea how far away I am. And I'm gonna stop for a soda or at least a sip of a soda. This is the part that I thought would be the most difficult is getting past this bathroom. And again, I just, there are some things going on here that were not anticipated. I don't think I would ever install an air conditioning unit without, um, running conduit for the electrical in such a way that I could replace it along with the control wires because that has been the issue for me.
So I'm fighting with a whole bunch of things over here in this corner. So I think it's in that area. I just gotta find it. <sighs> so glad this isn't fiberglass insulation. All right, so I feel the pipe, but because there's only one of me and I can't, I don't have any leverage on it, I can touch it, I've got to pull it back. Extremely frustrating not having a helper today, but this is how these go. And I don't, I mean, who, it would be tough to have somebody help me with this. Most of my friends want nothing to do with working on houses but that's why they pay several thousand dollars for the install. Whereas I don't. All right, so now I'm stuck at the other end and I gotta go unstick it in order to pull it back. Yeah, I'm stuck on one of the straps that is securing the vent pipe. I'm a little out of breath, so you guys can hear that, but let me pause and catch myself. All right, so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to put my phone in, in here. And I'm just gonna do a little Zoom meeting with myself. So, uh, let's see what the meeting ID is. Gosh darn it. Mm. 
And then, really? All right, so I'm using my, um, I'm just using my Zoom account instead of FaceTime. So I think So now I can take my iPad and I can actually see if I push the pipe in there. You guys won't be able to see, but you'll be able to hear me and I'll be ecstatic if I can pull it off. So I'm going to set the phone down, or set the tablet down, and then I can work with my other hand. There it is. And I'm sorry you guys can't see that, but that is a great solution to working by yourself. And if you don't have a Zoom account, you can get one for free that will let you do 40-minute Zoom calls. All you need is two Zoom-compatible devices, like a phone and a tablet. Honestly, use FaceTime. <sighs> All right. So There it is. <clears throat> hey, look, now you guys can actually see it. Let me bring you guys closer. There you are. So. Let's see what we're hitting. Oh, two by four. Let 
me check it from the other side. I think I gotta push it along a little further. All right, so that should keep me up out of the gutter. And what I mean by the gutter is all these utilities that run along the bottom of this that I don't want to get tangled up in. I might have my own set of problems up here in the wires, but I think it's a straight shot. And I've actually got a good 20 feet to go. So let's go back in the attic and we'll get to it. All right, so I brought another couple pipes up with me and that brings, to, that brings me up to 50 feet of pipe. which is enough for my install. It's actually about 53 feet, so it's gonna get me really close. Uh, we're gonna be bouncing back and forth between the sides of the, of the attic, but I think I can put a couple pieces of pipe in without a whole lot of hassle. We're fixing to find out. All right. I do think that was the hardest part of this. And I can't imagine trying to run a piece of wire through here without conduit. It just would be so difficult to thread through there. Now, if I had somebody really skinny, uh, dude, it'd be really hard to get over there in that corner. But there is some space down there. I just wouldn't want to be the one that had to crawl through it. This is definitely a tight squeeze. There's a 10 feet and rest and reset. Pretty sure I know what my next problem is going to be. It's going to be my duct work.
So if on cue, that's probably it right there. So let's go check. I'm not sure how I'm gonna solve this. I'm not cutting a hole in the attic. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure that it's back under here, back there. And I gotta crawl back there and figure it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this makes a bit of a dog leg back here. At least I think it does. So I'm gonna have to get back in here and figure it out. I might have to add some boards here. And if that's the case, I don't know if that's gonna happen today. I see some wires running up there, but I can't tell what they do. So I'm gonna put the camera here. And, whoops, stupid mount. Oh, the mount pops off quite a bit. There we go. <laughs> All right, so. I don't know what we hit. So that's the 100 amp circuit for the uh, AC panel and it's gonna get decommissioned. But that's gonna solve one of my other problems. But that's not today's video, so I'm not gonna talk about that. But I'm excited because yes, that just solved one of my problems. <clears throat> Let's go back under the vanity. So I think that this is actually workable. Maybe not. So, I don't really know where I'm stuck. I just know I'm stuck. Back to the other side. I think it's somewhere back on the other side of this, but I, I don't know how I'm gonna get to that. So, that's gonna be the project of the moment. is for me to get back here and see what I can see. And that involves... Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to build something. I just don't know what these gray wires are for. They look like alarm wires. Why are they on top? Who the fuck did that? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to install some some lily pads in here. <sighs> That's the only way this is gonna work is I'm gonna have to put in some some things to sit crawl upon. Cause I gotta crawl back there and find this thing. In the meanwhile, I think I can slide back here and take a look. Oh, I'm sure I know what I'm hitting. I don't know how I'm gonna solve it though. So I am hitting the ductwork. So there is a duct back that comes off the back of this and goes that way. 
and I'm sure I'm running smack dab in the middle of it because it's pretty up high. So I need this to retract and go along the bottom. Let me see how possible that's gonna be. So I'm gonna let you guys watch the pipe slide back because I don't really see any other good options in here. Yeah. Well, I think I can, I can bend it. Because fortunately, PVC is flexible. Otherwise, I'm going to have to cut it to extract enough pipe. And we'll see how far this gets me. Can't pull it back any further. <sighs> so I'm gonna crawl into my favorite little hole on the side of the bathroom and see if I'm stuck. Nope. out of breath. <sighs> Alright, I gotta go work in the attic again. See what the problem is? I'm running out of space. Oh no, I'm not. I'm just hitting something else. It's just physically exhausting getting back there. So, all right, let me go check and see what we're stuck on. I 
I think we're almost there. I really do. And that's good because I've only got a couple more feet of space. And then I'll have to cut pipe. Urgh. Accessible and attic don't go in the same word for sentence. Hey, there we are. <sighs> Believe it or not, kids, this is hard work. Let me go see what I'm stuck on in the attic. I don't think that's where the problem is. Well, maybe it is. And if not, maybe I can bully it from this side. Certainly a lot more leverage here. <laughs> All right. I think I got through it. Now, y'all have seen me put gloves on so I'm not going to show you that I'm going to add another piece to this Uh-oh. Well, we'll deal with it later. Well, actually, I've got a piece of foam that's lodged up inside the end of the pipe. I guess we will deal with it later, but that's not really my first choice. Cause this may be a pain in the ass later when I'm trying to pull wire through. So now we get to go to the other end and see what's going on. Because we're pretty close and we should be visible at the other end at this point. <laughs> Go see. Hey, looky there. It's a piece of gray conduit and it's down in the danger zone. So let's get it out of there. Oh, 
Oh, it's not stuck too hard. I thought it was going to be worse than that. There we go. All right, this has to be done from the other side. So I'm gonna go, I guess you guys probably wanna see that. So let's go look. You guys can help. And then you all can see why I'm huffing and puffing. So we're really, really close. And we still gotta figure out exactly where it's gonna come out, but we're really close. All right. All right, so there we are. It is right there, and that's the hardest part of this project. At least I think it is. So I'm gonna stop for tonight because the next thing I need to do is route that out the side. And that is not tonight's project. That's tomorrow's project. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you all learned something about how to use Zoom and other tricks for routing conduit by yourself.